Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the movie Pearl starring Mia Goth. I'll be talking about my favorite moments as well as explaining the ending for the film, so let's get started. First off, click subscribe for more explanation videos. I will be covering literally like 90% of all the movies coming in theaters with these explanation videos, so stay tuned for more videos. So let's talk about the movie and wow, was this movie amazing. As we all know, this is the prequel to the movie X, which came out this year as well. It stars Mia Goth as Pearl and takes place in 1918 on her farmland with her father and her mother. Her dad is extremely sick and her mom basically hates her, but her mom has a very bad life. The father is very sick and the mom has to take care of him all the time. So it's basically, she's now his mother, she's in a lot of pain, she's dealing with a lot, but she takes it out all on Pearl. And I honestly felt very bad for her in the beginning of the movie. Pearl's mother is very mean to her and very stuck in her ways. Anything that Pearl really loves, she kind of shuts her down right away. When Pearl finally gets a glimpse of what life would be like outside of the farm when she goes to the theater, she gets very excited and this starts to change her. She had gone into town for her father's medicine, stopped at the theater, and then had a little fun in the cornfield. While in the cornfield, she dances with the scarecrow and then proceeds to hump him, which Pearl seemed to enjoy it very much. She kind of embraces this sexuality and steals the scarecrow's hat and brings it home. We then get introduced to a new character who is Misty. Misty is a family friend and she seems a little bit wealthy and well off. Her mom brings a pig over to the house which Pearl's mother refuses handouts and leaves it on the porch. This may be a total reach but I feel like this pig really did have a symbol in the movie. When the pig is first brought over to their house it is a brand new cooked pig and looks great. Throughout the movie though, the more times Pearl and other people pass it on the porch, it becomes more decayed as it's getting eaten by flies and other insects. To me, this kind of symbolized what was happening to Pearl on the inside as she was starting to crumble and her inner roots were starting to come out. She started having these feelings, started to murder some people, and became a very despicable person. When Mitzi tells Pearl that there are dance auditions at the church, she knows that this is her big opportunity. Earlier on when she had gone to the theater, she met the guy who was the projectionist for the movie theater. He was very nice to her and gave her a piece of the film, and later on she goes back to visit him at night. He never is given a name and is labeled the projectionist in the credits as well. Pearl and him seem to have some chemistry and he shows her an X-rated film. He explains to her that these type of movies are obviously banned right now and even mentions at one point that she would look good in one. Pearl is extremely fascinated right away with these films and wants to be something in life. All she wants to do throughout this movie is get off the farm. Now let's talk about that dinner scene with the mom because I gotta say, the acting in this movie was phenomenal. Pearl was phenomenal. The mother was phenomenal. Like, honestly, Mia Goth deserves some sort of award for this movie and she better win an award for it. But the mom's acting was incredible as well. One of my favorite scenes in the movie is when the mom accidentally gets pushed in the fire and Pearl kills her. Just the combination between the lightning and thunder and the rain outside and the fighting really made this scene special for me. Oh, and did I mention right before this that Pearl tried to murder her father by pushing him into the water? Luckily, the mom came right before this happened and she didn't get to do it. After she puts her mom in the basement and leaves her dad, she goes back to the projectionist. They most likely sleep together and then they go back in the morning to Pearl's house. While kissing in the upstairs bedroom, they hear thuds and she says it's the dog in the basement. But when she's showing him around the farm a few minutes later, she forgets and says we have no dogs and no animals, what are you talking about? And then she realizes. I gotta say, I felt really bad for this guy. He was extremely harmless and a really nice guy and then he realizes, shit, I'm screwed. Pearl transitions even more into this evil character and pushes his car into the pond. Pearl then has her big dance audition and at the dance audition, she's loving it, she feels like she's doing amazing, but the judges don't like her and tell her too bad, sorry. Once Mitzi sees that Pearl is so emotional from failing at her audition, she brings her back to her house. While at the house, Pearl sits down with Mitzi and basically says that she has a lot of things that she wished she could tell Howard and Mitzi being this good friend is like, you can tell me. To summarize in short, what she told Misty was that she wished that Howard died for leaving her. She felt so abandoned and also talked about how she had become pregnant and was happy when the baby died. She felt so trapped and unsure about her life that how would she take care of another human? All she wanted was Howard to take her away from the farm and what he did was leave her. She also confessed to all of the murders right to Mitzi's face and this was one of the best scenes ever because there were no cuts in this scene I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong but she was talking for like three minutes straight in this scene and honestly it was amazing. I was genuinely so creeped out and Mitzi just sitting there, I couldn't have been her, I would have ran straight out, You would, right as she mentioned murder, I would have been out of there. Just the emotion and the acting and the fact that there were no cuts in the scene made it the number one scene in this movie and probably the number one scene in 
any horror movie in a long time that I've watched. Poor Mitzi got the dance gig and tried to lie, which made Pearl even more mad, and then when Mitzi is leaving, Pearl kills her. There is then a dual screen montage of her disposing of all the bodies, and this alligator got fed some of the human, and this alligator basically ate a lot of human. I believe that Pearl then fed Mitzi to the alligator, and this alligator ate a lot of blonde women. Then Pearl just loses it completely and sets up her family at the table. She cuddles with her mom in the basement when she's dead and then sets them up at the table and their decaying bodies are there. And it was honestly just such an eerie scene. She puts the rotting pig there as well, just showing that all of her life is basically just rotting and going to hell. And look who finally comes home at the end of the film. It's Howard. Howard walks straight into the house and sees exactly what's happening at the dinner table and he has no words. The movie then ends with Pearl just smiling creepily for about one minute. It was probably a minute, it could have been longer, but that's how the movie ended. The credits are going over her face and she is honestly crying while smiling. And again, Mia Goth with some of the most brilliant acting I've ever seen in a horror movie. There is an end credit scene which teases for the next upcoming movie, Maxine, the third in the trilogy. But this movie was really, really messed up. And I must say, I really, really liked it. This movie is what a prequel should be all about, but the only thing that they left out is why Howard stayed. I didn't see anything in this film that indicated why Howard would want to stay with her and why he would stay at the farm, so maybe this is something we see in Maxine, but there was nothing. I kind of wish that they showed Howard, like, wanting to stay at the farm, but I wouldn't want to stay at the farm if I just saw it, so maybe he was forced. Who knows, but that's my only small problem about the movie. But overall, I thought this movie was creepy, terrifying, the acting was phenomenal, and it just goes to show you that you don't need a massive budget and special effects or that many actors to make a truly brilliant film. There was only about probably four to five main characters and a couple other extras, but this film really exceeded my expectations. So let me know what you thought of the movie Pearl, and I'll see you guys in the next explanation video. Have a great day, everyone.